back to another video. It's Kyle here with Lone Star Speed YouTube channel. Today we're working on a cracked dash in my 98 GMC Sierra. I showed y'all that in one of my earlier videos, but today we're actually going to try to fix it, or at least start fixing it. So as you can see, there's some cracks. This one here, big one along here, big here, big here. I've already started, so you can't see it before. Big one over here, it runs all the way down here to the corner. Another one right here show you what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this plastic welder from Harbor Freight, it's like 17 bucks, and all I'm doing is, what I'm doing is, is in theory, just touching the corner to the crack and stitching it together. And I'll come in and buff it down if I need to, but I have a dash skin on the floor over there that I need to paint, and we'll also do that. And I'm just going around and at least firming this up just a little bit. Hard to get a camera in there with the windshield. And just giving a little stitches. And it's firming it up a lot. A lot more than I originally thought. I was having... I was worrying about how I was going to firm this up. I was thinking vinyl or even duct tape, gaffer's tape. I'm going to do this, and I may still do some gaffer's tape, but we'll see. So I'm going to keep going. Keep you posted. Alright, so I've touched up everything that wasn't taped. I even touched up all these little connections here. All these vents. I could have cut it out, but I decided not to. I know it doesn't look good, but remember, we're putting a cover over this. So you're not even going to see it anyways. I just don't want this to be, you know, breaking, doing this against each other underneath the cover and making a whole bunch of noise but I mean before you push this and it would just sink it's push it's moving the dash all the way over here now so this is definitely strong same here see the dash moving here push here see it moving all the way over here and all the way over here so this is a really strong connection so now I'm going to just gonna take the tape up and do the same thing under where the tape was all right so I took the tape off of this little section right here go ahead and show you what I'm doing so this is when I first started. I mean, it works. What I'm doing is putting it right on the crack, letting it melt. All I'm doing is stitching. Stitch it up. Sometimes you need to get a little hotter to let the plastic get a little more liquidy so it'll fall on the crack. Okay. Same thing down here. come back through and knock it down with some sandpaper so it doesn't push up the desk cover and yeah that's all it is do another one right here and yes this stuff stinks I got a fan blowing on me on the side blowing it out of the truck yeah that's all I'm doing I think it's a whole lot better option than taping it up and hoping that the adhesive on the tape sticks forever. This is a little more permanent in my mind. So I'll let you know how it goes. So here's the dash skin I purchased. Comes black. I've already wiped it down with plastic and leather prep. The lint-free lint cloth. Make sure it's free of debris. Let it air dry for a few minutes, and then we'll go to the next step. Next step is adhesion promoter. I'm going to spray on a light coat. Let it flash for five minutes, and then you will spray on a heavy coat. Let it flash for 15 minutes, but no longer than 30, and then you have to start painting. All right, so a nice light coat. Get all the edges.
Second coat, very heavy. You gotta let it flash for 15 minutes. Your last chance. Update on the inside of the truck. Went ahead and took the dash bezel off. It's right there. Um, just so we could get to this edge a little more. We plastic welded right here. And you can see it's nice and firm. It's moving it over here. Really, really firm. I like the way that came out. Probably gonna sand this down a little bit just to make sure. But when we test fit it, you didn't see any, we didn't see any wrinkles or anything in the dash skin. But I mean, look, look how nice of. So. And when it, you even welded all these little bitty points here, and it's nice and firm. So. Uh, while this is off, I'm going to go ahead and clean. You already did the work to take it off, so I might as well clean all the way around here. You can see some stuff underneath. Clean all back in here. Not every day you get the chance to clean that. So. Here's the plastic welding kit from Harbor Freight. Like I said, it was 17 bucks. Comes with the plastic welder, obviously, the stand, wire brush to clean the plastic off, instructions, filler rod. We also found that zip ties tend to work a little better. They stay a little more molten longer and some wire mesh to help. Paint we're gonna be using is also SCM brand, color coat. They make, I think, over 50 OEM colors. Went to a paint supply shop, they had it. And then I bought some more on Amazon of the same color. They helped me out at the paint supply shop. My truck is a medium dark pewter, which is a very popular gray GM color. Mine's a 98 GMC Sierra with the gray interior. So make sure you shake this up really well. And you're gonna do two to three coats, but since I'm painting a black one, I'm just gonna keep painting until I don't see any black coming through. This is about 10 minutes after I sprayed the last heavy coat. As you can see, right in here, there's some light lightning. Some here, right in here, a little bit up here, over here, and over here on the side, you can really see it. Maybe I got a little too close, but it's nice and flashing. Make sure you get the edges when you're using the adhesion promoter. And the reason I'm doing the get dash skin instead of finding a regular dash is the fact that regular dash if it's even together is about a grand and then you have to pay for labor or do it yourself to remove the old dash while it's cracking apart or you can just go with this option i think it's about 250 dollars or so for paint and the dash skin all right so now it's time to paint we're going to start with the edges here you know in the instructions it says if you do get on the back you can sand it off or wipe it down with lacquer thinner but you want to make sure the edges are painted because you're going to see them so we're going to start with the edges make sure it's well shaped Once again, make sure you're doing this edge because you're going to see it through the windshield. I 
It's okay to be a little splotchy on the first coat because we're gonna do two or three coats. So that's the light coat. Let it sit for about five minutes. You don't want to go too much longer. We'll come again and do the second coat. Starting the second coat. Careful when you're painting because this slopes together and you don't want paint to run down in the middle of that valley. Now I'm going this direction instead of this direction. It'll help even out the coat, keep it from looking splotchy, help the paint get in all the cracks and crevices from a different angle. Last final coat, long, even try. Alright, so it's about a week later and we finished the dashboard. Sorry I couldn't film it uh, very well. There's a bunch of people always around when we were doing the dashboard, so it was never a good time to film. So I filmed what I could, but it's been about a week since we finished it. And here it is installed. In case you're wondering, it's an adhesive that you put down. It's an RTV. 
you just go about half an inch from the edge all the way around and um, yeah it looks very good there are minimal gaps as you can see around the air vent they matched up very well with the paint on the air vents so it comes all the way down here and this this is all part of it as well so it looks very good so tell me what you think please like subscribe uh, watch my other videos and comment below what else you want to see me do. Thanks.